Good day, sir. We want to meet you, sir. I am uh, Francis Adewi, okay. a member of this church. I'm a Catholic. I was born as a Catholic and I've been a Catholic ever since. Okay, Engineer Francis Olawe, and you are age. Adewi. Adewi, I am 72 years. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, sir. You are a chief in the Catholic Church. Yes, by okay. the grace of God. What position are you holding? I am the Otumbalogu of this pro cathedral. SS Peter and Paul Cathedral. Sir, today is Trinity Sunday. We want you to enlighten us on what Trinity is all about. The most holy Trinity is the concept of one God, three persons. Okay. It's uh, a concept that came with our Lord Jesus Christ himself. Before Jesus came, we only knew about one God. But it was Jesus, the Son of God, who came and uh, made us to understand that there are three persons in the Godhead. The Father, the Son, and this is Jesus, and the Holy Spirit. The three of them are co-equal, co-eternal, and they all coexist together as one. They act together as one, even though they are three distinct uh, persons. It is a mystery that we cannot uh, fathom. So that is how it is. How can you convince a non-Christian, for instance, that God is three? It is difficult to convince a non-Christian okay. because they, they uh, believe in the most holy trinity is primarily by faith. Okay. Number one, by revelation. Those who are privileged to have received revelations mm. that about the trinity, we know that uh, the Trinity is uh, is one God, three different uh, different persons. Mm. So th that uh, concept, <laughs> we are doing a recording. <laughs> so that uh, revelation mm. is something that is personal. Mm. Only those who have been blessed with such visions know about it. But in, in, in the in the scriptures. There are so many references to the Trinity in the scriptures, even though indirectly. Mm. When the God created uh, the world, he said, let us make a man in our, mm. our own image. Mm. Let us. Mm. Us itself is plural. Okay. Uh, make man in our own image. Our is plural. Okay. So uh, from that and so many other references in the in the scriptures, mm. it, yeah, yeah, those are the ones that form the background for the most holy trinity. But direct revelation about the holy trinity only came with our Lord Jesus Christ. Okay. When he gave the, the apostles and disciples the mandate, go ye and make disciples of all nations, mm. baptizing them in the name of the Father Amen. and of the Son Amen. and of the Holy Spirit. So. That means there are three different persons, but all of them coexist in and acting as one. So any baptism that do not take that formula cannot be recognized as it's, baptism. It's, it's no baptism. It's, so, no, it's no baptism. What if they, other denominations use that Trinitarian formula and they are not associated with Catholic? We Catholic honor their baptism. Uh, the Catholic Church honors the baptism of uh, some selected, uh, some selected uh, churches, particularly okay. the Orthodox churches, like the Anglican Church, okay. the Methodist Church. The, so the Catholic Church uh, honors the baptism because uh, basically it is, if you are baptized by somebody who is, who is uh, uh, officially mm. qualified, a, a minister, who is an official minister of God, mm. Then uh, the baptism is recognized by the Catholic Church as valid. Okay. But uh, you cannot give what you don't have. Mm -hmm. Somebody who, whose baptism is defective and God appoints himself a pastor. For example, a, a Muslim now decides, uh, I want to start a church and say, I'm pastor so so so. Okay. He was never baptized by a competent authority. Mm -hmm. In which case, any baptism that he himself does mm -hmm. is defective because his calling is defective. That is, his, his ministerial uh, mandate is defective. Yeah. In which case, the baptism that he does is not valid. Mm -hmm. And that means that 
the Holy Spirit, which is supposed to call on the uh, the person being baptized, mm. will not come, will not be there. Okay, sir. So, uh, from what you said, you said uh, God the Father, God the Son, and the Holy Spirit are co-equal. They are very Let, equal. Let's come to the concept of a familyhood. Can we say in African that you and your son and your wife you are equal? Uh, we are not equal because we are. Does church persons. exist in that level? Uh, no, you see a church. Okay. You have a, the the uh, domestic church. Okay. Domestic church where you have the father, the, the son, the mother, and the children. Uh -huh. They form part of the domestic church. Mm. The father is the head of that domestic church. Okay. The mother. So is, can we say that God the Father is the head of that heavenly church? Yes, the Lord Jesus but Christ. But you say said they are co equal. No, they are, they are co equal. What is the concept of co equality? Co equality comes when you have uh, uh, so, uh, uh, people who, by their their makeup, okay. have more or less uh, relatively equal powers, relatively okay. equal attributes, okay. and relatively equal standards. Okay. So, but even within the Godhead of the Trinity, mm -hmm. they, recog they recognize that this is our head, and mm -hmm. that is God the Father. the Father. So that's why that uh, Jesus in, in the scripture says, the Father is greater than I. Mm. The Father is greater than That's I. That's art of humility. Is the art, ranking art. himself. Yes, yes. Okay. He's, he's, he's uh, uh, confirming that he comes from the Father. Okay. He possesses from the Father. Mm. And even though they may have uh, equal powers, mm. but he recognizes that the Father is the official head of the Trinity. Mm. You, you understand? You can have a situation in which a son can even be greater than his father. But he must still acknowledge that the father is his father. Okay. In the Catholic Church, who is the head of the Catholic Church? The head of the Catholic Church is the Pope, okay. the Supreme Pontiff. Who, uh, the, the, uh, there is the, the Papacy, which is the College of Cardinals okay. and uh, the Nuncios. You know, they, they form what you call the papacy. The papacy is the, the, the governing body of the Catholic Church. And at the head of that is the Pope, who is the who sits on the chair of Peter. Mm. As a descendant of uh, yes, Peter. He gets a direct mandate directly from Peter. Okay. Between Apostle Peter and the present Pope, there is a continuous and unbroken line of succession. Mm. So that from Peter uh, after Peter came uh, Linus, okay. from after Linus came Clement, mm. like that, up till now. Wow. They were all the popes. Apostle Peter was the first pope. So all the popes, they were, you, know, you know, so they all derived their mandate. Mm. Is it Jesus that is appointing them in that succession or? No, Jesus, Jesus uh, gave the mandate to Peter. Okay. Peter, so, they said, for it started from uh, Matthew, uh, the Gospel of Matthew chapter 16, when uh, you are the rock. Said, you are Peter, the rock. Mm. On, on this rock, I, I will, will find you, my, my church. church. Okay. So, Chief, what is your final advice to those who do not believe in the Trinity, who are watching us now? My advice is that they should imbibe the faith. Pray for God to open their eyes and imbibe that faith because the Trinity, believing in the Trinity, comes with abundant blessings. For example, we Catholics, when we want to pray, we start to pray in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. By that alone, by invoking celestial blessings, mm. celestial presence, mm. and celestial benediction on whatever you are doing. Mm. By inviting God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit to be present. So only that sign is a sufficient it's sign a, of it, prayer. It is it's a prayer on this. Must you say something while doing like this? In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy so Spirit. So by that you are invoking the, the Holy Spirit. The, the Holy Trinity. The Trinity. It's the, the entire Trinity you are calling. So, but most on. of us, we are always shy in doing this in the public space. Uh, it's, uh, I would say it's a uh, lack of understanding. Okay. I mean, it's, uh, if you are proud of what you are doing, why should you, should you be shy of it? Okay. Because some people will ask us, is that one in the Bible? It's in the Bible. To make the sign of the cross. Yes, you see, in fact, it is, Jesus said, 
Uh, uh, go here and make disciples of all nations, okay. baptizing them.